Hello everyone and Happy New Year again. It is I, Seth, again with another video. And I do this once a year. You may or may not know that because I get more subscribers every year. And not a lot of people watch this series, I guess, of videos. But I always do like a year-end review of everything that's gone on in my life lately or just how I kind of felt about the year. And I do this every year. It's usually the night of New Year's. Like, you know, yay, Happy New Year's! And then a couple hours later I'll go home and then record a video. But last night I didn't get home till well, it wasn't night. It was 5 a.m. So, <laughs> um... I just didn't want to stress about it too much. I just wanted to enjoy myself that night. I Usually the party that I go to, it's like, yeah, it's whatever, and I'll leave whenever, and then come home and record a video. This way I'm actually coherent. I'm not trying to record something at 3.30 in the morning like I did last year, and I was all like, duh, duh, but, words. <laughs> but anyways, I won't uh, ramble on too much why I'm doing it a day late or whatever, but this is the day, the day of New Year's. This is New Year's Day, you know, January 1st, if you want to say that, 2014. And I've been doing this for, well, this is the third one now. I can't believe how long I've been doing videos for. This one is going from 2013 to 2014, and it feels really weird to say 2014 because I still feel like it's mid-2000s. I still feel like I'm 16, but I'm 22 now. I gotta grow up and got stuff to do. But basically, I just want to talk about how 2013 went for me and my hopes, dreams, and aspirations for 2014. And I'd like to invite you all into personal part of my life as I kind of sit here and ramble because this is kind of like me getting it all out in the open. I do this once a year to just kind of like let loose. I don't sit there and bitch and complain and do vlogs year round anymore about that kind of stuff. Not really. I mean I kind of do it as updates to keep everybody up to date but I digress. I won't ramble anymore. So 2013. What do I think of it? Well the last video I made I said 2012 kind of sucked and it did. I still look back on 2012 and I'm like thank god that wasn't my year. Um, 2012, I can still go down and say that that was a pretty awful year, and 2013, it wasn't fantastic, but it was definitely a vast improvement over 2012, which you might say that's not really saying much because 2012 was really bad for me, um, but 2013, it, it had some good points for it. Uh, the first half of the year was about the same as my entire year of 2012. I mean, I was basically doing the same thing. I was still working at a cookie factory that I hated working at. I did that for the first half of the year. I was finally looking into going back to school the fall of 2013. And that was a that was a big part of why 2012 wasn't too great for me was because I was looking into doing all these things and it didn't happen. And I was finally making progress towards that. And I really liked looking into going to school and doing something because I felt like I was progressing with my life. I didn't feel like I was at a standstill and trapped and I didn't know what to do. And so, the first half of the year was kind of like the same old, same old. I was working at the factory, but I, at the same time, I was making progress towards going to school and getting money to pay for school so I didn't have to get student loans right away. In the first semester, I could kind of take it easy and get used to it because it was my first time moving out. So, first half of the year kind of blew a little bit, but as time went on, you know, it got a little bit better. And then I made an update video about this a little while ago, like as soon as I moved uh, to the town where I was going to college. I was supposed to be moving in with somebody, I had been planning this for like four months, and it kind of didn't happen. <laughs> it kind of got shut out on me, and you know, a week before I was supposed to move, and that really sucked because the way that the person handled it was very immature, very mean, and just, it just was not a good situation. I was pretty wrecked at that point because I was like, I feel like I'm trying to make progress and every little thing that can get in my way is getting in my way. but. I powered on through it. I just kind of kept going with my life and it was hard moving the first time on my own and a lot of people say, you know, it get, it's hard but it gets better. And I mean, th that's completely true, especially for me. Um, like, the first two weeks I just remember being moved away and I was like, I miss my family. I hate living up here. This isn't comfortable for me. I was out of my comfort zone. and. I'm not one of those people that was like ready to move out. I mean, I was, but at the same time, I wasn't. And a couple weeks went by, classes started starting up. I was in a social atmosphere around people my own age, and it was just really fun. I mean, socially, moving to college and doing stuff with my life made me so incredibly happy. And I'm going to tell you something that's going to sound so incredibly cheesy and lame, but I, I just knew that that was the moment that things clicked with me. Um, I've been going to classes for a couple weeks, and I just remember getting home from class. It was a really good day. I get home, 
uh, my roommate wasn't there, Carrie wasn't there yet, and I was just like, man, I'm in such a good mood and everything, and I was genuinely in a good mood. Like, a lot of times I'll be in, like, a good mood and it won't be, you know, a big thing and it'll kind of come and go, but I was, like, genuinely happy just not with that day, but where my life was going, and I just, like, broke down, like, so happy. I was like... I can't believe I'm happy for, like, legitimately happy with where my life is going for the first time in so long that I can remember, and it was amazing. And I just, like I said, that sounds really cheesy, but I was stoked. I still am. And, you know, some, I'm, I'm not going to say 2013 was, like, the best year ever, because, like I said, the first half kind of sucked, and there were some really hard events that happened throughout the year. Some stuff happening with my family. And I won't get into detail with it because it's not really any of your guys' business. Personally, what's going on with my family, and I hope you all can understand that. You're not like, unsubscribe, Seth won't let us in on secrets. But, you know, just, there was an accident in my family. Everybody's okay now, don't worry, in case anybody was worrying. But, and just, there were some bad events that happened throughout that time. But for me personally, it was a vast improvement for my year and I couldn't be happier because I feel like I'm making progress and going somewhere in my life and I'm just so incredibly stoked um yeah that's about it for 2013 and the, the semester just ended it was my first semester at like a real university because the other one was a community college I went to I could just commute to it it didn't really feel like college to be honest but the school itself I mean some of my instructors kind of blew a little bit but a lot of my, uh, several of my instructors actually really liked. I thought they did a really good job. Um, I met some really great people, people I, I will plan to be friends with for years after this. Uh, especially if the guys are watching us from my computer science class, you guys are awesome. I will consider you guys my friends for life. <laughs> so, um, I, I just socially, that's the thing. That's the number one thing that moving out did for me was I was back in a social atmosphere. I was happy. And in turn, that made just everything in life better for me. Everything just drastically improved from there on out. And I, once again, cannot explain how incredibly happy I was. I mean, I felt motivated to make videos again. Granted, I don't really have as much time as I like to, but I, whenever I did make a video, I felt happy and motivated to make one. And hopefully you guys maybe kind of saw a change with that. Maybe a little, a little bit, maybe? No? <laughs> but, and also, Last year at the New Year's party, this was kind of a bad omen for 2013. Yeah, I'm getting my years mixed up. I still feel like it's 2013, but whatever. Um, the New Year's party last year, it had been New Year's for like an hour, and somebody, they had to have an ambulance call at the party I was at because somebody OD'd on alcohol, you know, and just overdid it a little bit. So that was how I spent my first hour in the New Year last year at somebody they had to call an ambulance and the police and things like that and it really wasn't that great but this year the party I really enjoyed we go the same place for a party every year and it was not as rowdy as usual it was just like a great group of friends showed up and I just had a blast I was it was really fun that's why I didn't get home until you know five in the morning so <laughs> it was a really fun time and I am honestly looking forward to this year I have the whole year to start going to school and start, you know, making some real progress towards my life. And, you know, last year when I was making the video, I was like, well, you know, it can only go from up, you know, it, it can only go up from here. And now I'm feeling like it's going to keep going up and it's going to keep getting better. And I'm, I'm stoked. And granted, I've made those thoughts before. In my first video of this, I was like, yeah, 2012, bring it on. And then it brought it on. I'm like, go away. <laughs> so, I mean, I'm... I'm happy. I'm, I'm, I'm honestly happy with where things are going. Things could be better. I mean, school does cost a lot of money, and I am going to have to get loans eventually, and we're going to get kicked out of our apartment because they're tearing them down and everything like that. But so far, I mean, I feel like, you know, I powered through this last year. You know, there, there are things thrown in my way, and I got through it. And I feel like, you know, I'm ready to take on the world again. And I got plenty of people backing me up on this now. So I'm, I'm super, super happy with how things are going. And hopefully you guys can see that. I'm like genuinely not like, yeah, so welcome to another spray paint tutorial. We're going to be painting some things today. <laughs> hopefully I don't actually sound like that when I do tutorials. And uh, last year, I didn't even want to make like a New Year's resolution. I was just like, just be happy. 
and I did it. I became happy. And uh, this year I actually have some actual, I guess you could say, uh, New Year's resolutions. I forgot the name for a second. Um, and they all have to do with fitness, because a lot of people don't know this because it doesn't really show on me, but I am really big into fitness. I've gotten into it. I've been off and on on it for the last couple years, but I got really serious with it for like the last year, year and a half. And I feel like I know enough stuff now that I can really start pushing myself to my physical limits and start making some good progress. And these are just personal goals for me. I'm not looking to be like, yeah, I'm going to become a freaking bodybuilder. <laughs> but there are some New Year's resolutions that things that I've wanted to do and I feel like I can start making good progress on that. So this year is just a total year for progress, making steps forward in my life, my life goals, and as far as changing me physically because that's something I've always wanted to do. Everybody always is like, I don't want to lose weight. Well, that's not my only thing. I got like, I got a marker board in front of me so I wouldn't forget what they were. I'll probably put them on the screen somewhere, what my goals are, or in the description if you guys really, I, I guess, care. Um, just, I, I really want to push myself to my limits and see where I can go. Because you only get one body for your life and you might as well see what you can do with it. And I've, I've thought about maybe making a fitness series or whatever, but there's so many fitness channels out there. And I'm not really a huge professional athlete or anything like that, but I figured if you guys may want to see a video series, I mean, let me know. And I might do something like that and bring you guys on my journey for it and see how well I'm doing. But, um, yeah, that's really about it. 2013, um, it threw some hardships at me and I got through it and I couldn't be happier, as I said many times before that already. In 2014, I'm looking to do the same. I'm looking to power through it no matter what gets thrown at me. And I really just like where things are going right now. So, And as always, I want to thank you all for your overwhelming support. I went up, I think, I think last year about this time, I was at about 1,000 subscribers, and I'm at about 3,500 now, which is great. I mean, I, I never thought, I mean, Grant, that's not a lot of subs, but I never thought I'd get to that and all these people being so nice and supportive to me you know, just making weird random tutorials and random videos online, so I, I just want to thank you all again. I've been thanking you guys in a lot of my videos lately, and it's because you guys give me a lot of support and say such incredibly nice things, so let's all power through 2014 together. I'm looking forward to it, and I will be there every step of the way, and hopefully you guys are with me, so as always, I want to thank you all for watching, and of course, I will see you all later. Happy New Year's, guys.